So Crystal, we've been working on this research for five months now, and we've been tracking down through all of this data and the people that we've are, that have taken the coronavirus remedy. And while we're sort of almost completed doing this research, we're struck by the contradiction of what the nozo can do for helping people in their evolution and the degree to which humanity seems to be going more and more off course. What, what can you say about that? You just said it, that as homeopaths, we're here on this planet offering our service providing this gift, not everybody wants to take this trip with us. It feels as if we take on this role that's likened to the role of a shaman, you know, this energetic um, death and rebirth that we've experienced through our education, through our own experiences, um, whether academic or in practice. Um, and then in turn, we're trying to help others um, do the same. Yes. It's a great turning point um, that is a rebirth. Um, it is a rebirth. So we're really going to finish this research and publish it. Um, those of you who are watching this may know that homeopaths have been scoundrelized and scandalized and, you know, the threat to illegalize homeopathy is abound. And this is as far as I can see it, the only way out of the predicament that we're in. Yes. Would you I agree? I would agree. And I think there's a real ethereal quality to the download of um, the knowledge that comes from this data for those who've been working in this research. Yes. And I believe in the unveiling of the findings in this research, the same possible transmission of that data and, and, and transition into our next best step as humanity. Yeah, that's one of the things that I felt as we're reading the symptoms and we're watching people go from fear to no fear. We're watching people make their revel, um, revelations in their own mind. It's like as we're weaving the symptoms together, we are related somehow to the three fates, the cloth us the spinner and lachesis the allotter, you know, how much length of life do people have, and atropos for the determinator who's going to end life. Like, here we are weaving these things, and people are coming. Anyways, they're just, um, they're doing their thing. They are, they're evolved with us through this. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So, for those who listen to here, this is a plug for we need more money for the research and thank you to those who've already donated to this. Um, looking at the horizon of what all the conspiracy theories, but what is our electorate is showing us, it's not showing us anything different. If we had something else, we need to invest in that and that's where we are. Great. Thanks, Crystal. Thank you.